Hello, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to connect your YouTube watch with a with a provided with a provided sort of app which is a smart watch app smart is called smart watch helper app actually you can download it from uh, google play store as well nowadays and also i'm sure you would have seen it in the instruction manual which is provided by the manufacturer so first thing first what i want you to do is first i, I wanted to show you around the watch first then we will I will go on my mobile phone and uh, show you how to install the app as well. So right there you see is a power button and right in this corner right here is a speaker phone which is a very small speaker phone which is just for the terms just for help you to use watch as a no as a as a what's that what should I say hand free hand free and right next to it is a USB sign which has got a micro USB port on it for the charging purpose the charging could last for the boat at least two days which is very good and right in, in right there just you see you can see that is a small small hole which is for the mic because to for the purpose of hand free so let's power up the my my uh, sorry power of the watch actually <laughs> there you go you hear the notification and welcome welcome sign and also a silly sort of sound that's that's all right so if you wanted to access the if you wanted to access the app area which is by pressing this button and you can see right here it's got a pedometer bluetooth and all these things right there uh, and you can see the dialer here and the phone book which you can all do all these features using the smart using a smart watch helper app and also the camera and all these things you can access it access it through no problem with that it's got an anti loss feature as well so it all together it's got a couple of uh, how many windows i would say that one two three three windows so in the settings what you can do in the settings now i'm going to show you the settings you can change the languages it's got multiple languages and settings in there you can set the time if you want to There's the time then the date and backlight option as well it's got a maximum of three seconds sorry 50 seconds minimum of five seconds in there messages you can access all the messages from here once you've got an app installed on it on your mobile phone so this is pretty good watch as well. You can see the belt belt quality is very nice. It's a, it's a bit of rough and a soft feeling on it. That is very. It looks robust as well. Not that bad at all. And you can see all these features and all. You can play music on this as well. It's very nice watch in terms of quality of it for the price you pay for it as well. It's cost me only cost me only twenty five pounds, which is a pretty decent price to pay for this sort of watch. And look it just looks normal you know i won't say that it's a it's an outstanding watch in the world but it looks pretty good if I, if you compare it with respect to this watch which is just a g-shock my g-shock obviously they both have got differences oh, this is just a standard watch g-shock one standard watch and that's the smart watch that is the only difference you got here and that is the main home screen as you can see show you the timer date and everything on top here on the top here it's got a uh, battery battery notification and right there it's got a bluetooth notification it's on the bluetooth all the time connected so i'm going to disconnect this watch now for a while and uh, going, to, going to install an app on my mobile phone i'm going to show you how it works around it so let's turn it off it's a bye bye and a silly notification okay it's turned off okay let's open up your mobile phone it will be a small small differences so you just bear with me for that so what you need to do, you need to go into the, into your Google Market, and you need to search for the app which is called Smart Watch Helper. So it's called Smart Watch Helper, which is by the manufacturer. So you open this app, you press the install button on it, you install it. It's going to access all these information for you. So once this app is installed, I want you to concentrate on it. I'm going to show you a couple of options. So you have to make sure you select them okay so it's asking you for this all these things yeah you go to the configuration in the configuration you go into the smart watch helper accessibility so you press that button and you go on the top and press yes okay yeah enable it enable the talking talking back as well there you go it's all enabled the instruction could vary a little bit but all I would say that information will be to access the watch will be available inside your accessibility things. So 
we we have selected it all in accessibility software and everything is up and running sort of way so what i'm going to do i'm going to clear all these alarms which i got here so let's i'm going to power up my watch now so there you go i'm going to power the watch now as you can see once the watch is powered now watch is powered and i'm going to put it down here and i'm going to go to my bluetooth setting and turn the bluetooth on there you go bluetooth is turned on automatically it's going to ask me it's straight away connected to the watch which is uet okay once it's connected to it what i can do actually i can open up the app but app could be open itself as well so it works in both ways sometimes it opens up itself and sometimes you kind of do it yourself so you go to the app so yes, go to go to configuration of it. E, okay, yes, it is turned on. Now it's going to configure your app automatically. It's going to ask you what app you want to use and all these things. You just save it option. Just, just you know the standard bits and pieces. There you go. Your app is running now and it's accessing your watch. So there you go. Now here you can select different different things which you wanted to have in terms of apps and all these things and you can use the barometer on the watch and the pedometer on the watch and configure the units and how you're going to walk around so it's not necessary now that you should have your uh, you should you know you can activate your barometer on your mobile phone and all these things but this, these all things can be working on it as you can see on the watch you know you can hear the notification about it that what is what's happening with it it's a notifier which is telling him <clears throat> that smart watch is, uh, is connected on it and all these help watch features are available available sort of thing you know so it's not that you know it's not uh, it's not a rocket science you know it's pretty easy to work around this watch so you just connect and you can start using the feature let's suppose you wanted to do the messages you press this messages button and inbox so what will happen it will load the messages from your mobile phone same as with other features as well in terms of uh, let, let, let loads you know so I'm going to show you you know what he's got it so there we go see so you can see that it's all loaded it's all messages are there it's going to do that for you and it's got anti loss for anti loss thing as well which is which i would prefer to enable all the time so once it's lost the connection with the bluetooth obviously automatically it will warn you before you can lose your mobile phone barometer barometer is about the pressure pressure obviously the pressure temperature these both things are there that would help you i don't know, you know, I don't know for what but this is all there and uh, if you go to this altimeter it's obviously to do, to do with the to do with the altitude or something like that i don't know what, what is that but mm, something yeah something strange actually it seems to be it's, uh, it's like uh, leave it I, I don't know the name of it i don't want to do a false information here okay it's got a dialer option here which is which you install the notification or not it will work anyways so if i wanted to dial some number what you're going to do actually you're going to press one two three which is a ah, voice message number if i wanted to attend uh, if i wanted to dial the number you press that button if you wanted to cancel it you just press that button and it's also a hang off button as well hang it so you dial it come on let's do it Obviously, you're going to expect these sort of small, small glitches with the Chinese watches. There you go. It started working. As you can see on the mobile phone, it started doing the call as well. And at the same time, you can play, do the multiple features on it too. So these all features are working sort of. You know, there's not a problem with that. Now, you see, once you go into the barometer, once you start walking, it will keep on counting this all information. And this all information, which is its counting, by using this notification app will be transferred right in this right in here so you can select all the units and every set of steps you know how many you've gone through and all these things you can you can put the all information in your app so it will, it will keep track of your information as you see you just press the barometer on the top bottom of it it will tell you how many steps you made how many kilometers you made and all these things you can change them all so there you go right there so these all information can be synchronized it's a pretty, I would say that for the money you're paying, you're getting is a full package, honestly speaking. 
And uh, if you've got any questions, please do let me know. I'll be happy to answer it. There are quite many apps available, like there's one which is called the BT Notifications, which is a pretty good app too. I've never used it, but I will be making a video for that as well, just to make sure, you know, just to provide good enough information to people around the world, around the world. And anybody if you wanted to know anything more about it, please do let me know. And write in below comments if you got any comments about it, you know, if you got any question. And if you like my video, please hit the like button. If you don't like it, okay, press the dislike button. But please do let me know why you didn't like it. I will, will, it will help me to improve my service. service. I just do it for fun, so just let me know. Thank you very much for watching this video. Cheers. Bye.